Hi, Matt Lanchett, Anderson Vision. Uh, Joe, I just want to say it's an absolute privilege to talk to you. Um, what's it been like um, reopening David Rossi, and what's the most what's been the most interesting part of exploring him as an actor in this season? Uh, it's been great getting back to it. I mean, it's it's a, a character I played for 13 years, and outside of playing Fat Tony on The Simpsons, it's my longest running role that I've done in my career. And um, so for me to, to, to jump back in, what, what I like about it and what I've appreciated is the fact I've always felt that we had a high, our, our writing staff is just really high quality. I mean, I think the stories we tell are, are, are good and intriguing. I mean, there's, there's no, it's no mystery why, in a way, why the show's been successful as it's been around the world, because, you know, uh, and, and I always attribute much of that to, it's gotta be on the page. If it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. So my feeling is I'm, I'm happy that, that we're back and back in a way that it is an evolution. I really think the stories we're telling now, if anything, are even, uh, we have less restrictions. So they're stronger, they're, 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 I don't know if darker is the right word. I don't know if it could have got much darker, but, but in a way it's more realistic in, in many aspects. And so I think I, I've really been able to appreciate that. And I think we found a really good place uh, in, in the streaming world to be able to tell these stories again thank you thank you all right james you've got the next question hi joe james with him down on nerdy podcast it's an honor appreciate you taking the time to do this today so your character in this first episode of this season i think has an, an incredible episode you do a fantastic job in it what was it like just in that first episode having your character in that space i don't know if we want to spoil anything but having him in that space and especially the ending of the first episode, I thought was incredible. So what was that like for you? Yeah, well, it was challenging and it was great. I mean, again, I, I point to the fact that, you know, the, I'm, I'm always amazed and impressed by what these writers come up with, because I had no idea where, how we were going to start this new season and where everybody was going to be and what was going on. But I, 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 when I first read that first script, it was like, okay, <laughs> you know, David's got a, certain things have happened in his life that he's going to have to deal with now. And uh, so, but as an actor, you know, these are the things you, you hope for. You appreciate the fact that, that there's going to be some depth and some, and, and some, and, and, and you're going to have to tap into certain kinds of places and emotions and, 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 and different aspects of, of, of your character that maybe you haven't had to do to that extent before. So I, I've enjoyed that and I've, and I've enjoyed every subsequent episode from that first one on in the sense of being able to like, Okay, we really are an evolution. This is we're, we're taking this show to the next level, and I'm happy that we're doing that. And it was incredible. Thank you. Thank you, James. All right, our next question goes to Brett. Hi, Joe. Uh, pleasure to Hi, meet Brett. you, Brett. Here with the Brett Allen Show. I've been following you on social media, and you've been posting a lot of videos about the filming and the production and the excitement leading up to the release of this Criminal Minds Evolution. What has the response been like to you from the fans, the comments that you're getting that you're taking uh, the band back out on the road again <laughs> for another round of fun and excitement uh, with this great show? Well, the fan base has always been, you know, that it's what, at, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I mean, without without the fan base, we're just all just kind of amusing ourselves, you know, filming ourselves for for whatever reason. But in our fan base, what I love about it is it, it is the depth of it, because I think about fan mail I get. I mean, I get a a, a pretty decent amount out of like China, and and Russia. I mean, I recently opened up one from the Ukraine. And, and, and they had sent a return envelope to, to send them a little kind of a, a little to sign a little photo they had sent. And I sent it back and that envelope was returned, undeliverable. And I tr and I looked at the address and I traced it down and I realized this was a this is a city in the Ukraine that's under Russian control now. And I thought, wow, how interesting. Here is this young girl. She was like a young, like a 17 year old girl who wrote this beautiful letter to me about how much she loved the show. And I thought, and here, here's here's the thing where you know life and art kind of collide, and I think here's an instance where a fan, God bless her, was just trying to get an autograph from this actor of a show she loves, and she's not able to get it because of politics in the world right now, and so because of that, I use that as an example of how 
important our fan base is and how much I respect them and, and, and appreciate the fact that there are so many of them. And if, if it was, if they weren't there at, in the multitudes that they are, I don't think we'd be back on the air, but we are. And hopefully we'll be able to provide, you know, continual, you know, entertainment for them. And hopefully I'll be able to return that letter to her and she'll get it next time. All right, Monica, you're up next. Hi, Joe. My name is Monica Gleerman. I'm with Time Warner Entertainment and Sound Sunset Podcast. It is an honor to speak with you because I love all of your work. Um, I wanted to ask you in particular, for returning for David, what is it for you like? I know you credit a lot to the writers, but as an actor, you played him for a long period of time. There's been a break. Now you're coming back. So for you, do you prepare in any special way in terms of how to keep it fresh and keep people interested? Because we love David so much. <laughs> so is there anything that you do on your end? Well, thank you. Well, one thing I think I, I, I did, and I did it right from the beginning, and I'm glad that I did do this, is that I, I purposely incorporated a lot of who I am, hopefully, into David Ross thinking. Because I was given some advice many years ago, when I first, especially when I first started dabbling in series television. Um, uh, the, the producer, Don Belisario, did, who created Magnum P.I. and NCIS and a lot of wonderful shows. He's a dear friend of mine. And he had told me, he says, Joe, when you do a series, just know you might do it for many, many years, that character. So you might want to find aspects of that character of who you are. So you're not tapping into some, you know, crazy, fictitious thing you made up. And then you have to like now go, oh, how would, you know, this way you're able to, I, I'm able to tap into things of my own childhood, of, of, of my likes, dislikes, maybe hobbies, you know, the fact that Rossi likes cooking and things like that. And that he's an Italian American. All those things are, are part of who I am. And so that made it, you know, kind of, easier and, and 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 comfortable for me to put that cloak of David Rossi back on because I can say, look, of course, a lot of it is, you know, is a character and hopefully there's certain aspects of him that aren't me too. But on the other hand, it's, I feel very comfortable playing this guy and, uh, and even the curmudgeonous aspects of him, you know, I can tap into that without too much, uh, too, too many problems there. And, uh, and, and, and that's okay. I, 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 I like David Rossi. And I even named him after a real person that I knew who has since passed away, who was an LAPD policeman. That's a whole other story. But uh, in his honor, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to once again, you know, be that character. Well, thank you so much. It's amazing to see you back on screen. We're so excited. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. All right, Matt, you got the next question. Uh, <clears throat> So uh, Criminal Minds is, of course, a uh, procedural, but I'm, I'm sure there's always a chance to develop a character over the course of a procedural. You've taken your character uh, this far already. Uh, what are you hoping to bring to this new season um, that you may not have brought before, especially with the huge change in David Rossi's life? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a good question. But I guess that, that that's a, that's a similar question I could probably ask myself is just be, as Joe Montaigne. In other words, what what is it that's going to make me, you know, the man that I am different this year from next year and then years following? You know, I, I think one aspect of it is something that we all face is that you have to just take it a day at a time. And like we, we don't look in the, you know, I'm not a big person to look in the, Christ, you know, I don't go to like, psychics and stuff and, and think like I want to know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week I don't want to know that because my feeling is let's cross that bridge when we get to it and so it's it's just that everybody one of the models I go by is everybody has a story and nobody gets a free ride and that's true of every human being on the planet so we all have our own little stories and we all but none of us get a, totally a free ride I don't care who you are you can look at somebody and say oh that person that's the luckiest person in the world yeah, you dig deep enough. There's always going to be something, and you know, and 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 so so it's just that. So you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see where that takes me, and where the, where it takes me with me as Joe, and me with the character David Rossi, and I'll I'll embrace it, whatever it may be. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, everyone. That concludes our roundtable. Please say your goodbyes and make your way out of the Zoom room. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. Thank, thank you so much.